I want to also rush to say that earlier this year, on the 15th of January of 2021, I too declared June 19th to be a legal holiday for the court system in the Circuit Court of Cook County. I wanted to do that because I know the history of the Emancipation Proclamation very well. And I know why it was entered by then President Abraham Lincoln. He did so because the slaves who lived in the Confederate states were being abused by those Confederate states. And he actually entered that Emancipation Proclamation the year before it was to take effect, September 22nd, 1862. It was to take effect on the 1st of January, 1863. And what happened was many of the people who were being oppressed in the South never knew anything about that Emancipation Proclamation that was to set them free. And history says that those in Texas knew nothing about the Emancipation Proclamation until the Union soldiers got there on the 19th of June, 1865. So let's give the Union soldiers a great round of applause. At least they delivered the message. But I have to tell you, sadly, they did not know that slavery had already been abolished and that the person who signed the Emancipation Proclamation had been assassinated. The President of the United States who signed that document had been assassinated already and it was going to get worse before it could get better. The laws that were passed to protect them, including the elimination of slavery didn't take place until the end of the year after the Emancipation Proclamation on December 6, 1865. And then after that, the act that was supposed to protect their rights for at least 12 years were gradually eliminated. And those rights were supposed to deliver rights to those who had been enslaved and were supposed to build public schools for them. Instead, all of those rights were eliminated. The black code rights were instituted. The Jim Crow rights were instituted. And the KKK were let loose as violent people on the people who had been former slaves. So it set into place what has been designated as white supremacy. And it set into place what blacks were told back then, that at best they would be second class citizens and they would not have equal rights. They would not have due process, and due process of law would not be extended to them. So that is why we're here today, to celebrate those who had the courage to stand up for what was right. And I can tell you this, wherever unfairness takes place, we have to fight it wherever it can be found. And let me go on to say that the ongoing struggle to secure justice for all continues unabated. And we all, each one of us, has a role to play in that fight. Keep fighting, keep struggling, and make certain that this is not only celebrated in Cook County, but is celebrated all over the state of Illinois and all over this country. Thank you very much. Let me just make one quick announcement. Today, 
It's official. A Governor Pritzker did sign into law Juneteenth, June 19th as Juneteenth Day, celebrated here in the state of Illinois. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm very grateful to be part of this celebration of Juneteenth. African American history is American history. And that's why I was proud to join our Board of Commissioners last year, making June 19th, Juneteenth, an official Cook County paid holiday. I'm a former history teacher, and I know that our understanding of history shapes not only our actions in the present, but our path forward. This holiday commemorates a pivotal moment in the history of this country. On June 19, 1865, Union soldiers arrived in Galveston, Texas, bringing news that the Civil War was over and the enslaved were now free. This week, we honor the women, the men, the children who were enslaved, those who escaped slavery, and those who fought to end this disgraceful period in our nation's history. This week, we finally give Juneteenth the respect and reverence it deserves as a holiday in Cook County and now in the state of Illinois. Together, we reflect on our shared history and remind ourselves that freedom was only the first step, the first step toward racial justice. There's much to do to advance racial equity, and I'm committed to this work. As Cook County Board President, I will do everything I can to center racial equity in my administration, every policy, program, and fiscal decision. Your zip code should not determine your life expectancy. Your race should not determine your access to education, jobs, or even public transit. Everyone should have the opportunity to thrive. Juneteenth is an important day to remind ourselves of just how long we fought for equality and how far, how far we have to go. But we will never give up because we're resilient, we're determined, and we have the power to shape the future. Thank you. Thank you very much. Our next speaker is Karen Yarborough, Cook County Clerk, Cook County's first African American female clerk. Thank you. Want me to say anything? Thank you. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Leanne, and good morning to all. No, it's afternoon, I guess. Let me thank President Preckwinkle and the Cook County Board of Commissioners for this day and having the leadership and courage to officially recognize and celebrate Juneteenth. Special thanks to Clerk Iris Martinez. Iris, I know you remember a certain resolution in Springfield. We did this in Springfield over and over again just to bring it to the forefront. And so today, to watch this ceremony today, to know that they've actually passed a bill in Springfield, the governor has signed it, in Cook County, the county board has done what they've done. Iris, it's a good day to be in Illinois. <laughs> So, by officially designating Juneteenth a county holiday, we're jump-starting a significant day that will live on in bold fashion every year. As the first African-American woman to serve as clerk in Cook County, this is especially um, special to me because I've been celebrating this and have actually been to Galveston year after year after year, as many of you have, to celebrate with them. On this day, we remember the long struggle of enslaved Africans in Galveston and the his historical significance of their eventual emancipation. But we also recognize the struggle has continued for a very long time in our nation, and the fight for justice and equality in our community continues. 
I understand the struggle on a very personal level, as do many of you here today, and we understand that we must do more. I said we must do more. So today, take time to remember, but make no small plans. This is a day of liberation, but it's also a day to recommit to the work that remains to be done. We have this opportunity to utilize this special day as a catalyst to push all of us to strive for excellence, accomplishment, and above all, equality. So to all of you, enjoy your Juneteenth holiday, but Please remember, the struggle continues. Thank you. Before I introduce our musical entertainment, I would like to give a shout out to a couple of elected officials, Cook County Commissioner Brandon Johnson. Alderman Ariel Robroyers. and Alderman Felix Cardona. All right. And now we have a very special performance by Sam Williams and the Sela St. Sabina Youth Choir. Put your hands together. Try this one. Everybody good? <laughs> All right, so we're going to do this and get it out of your way uh, real quick, and then I guess come back and close it out at the end. First of all, give yourselves a hand. Give yourselves, everybody, for surviving, for thriving, all right, throughout this pandemic. Come on, come on. I know we haven't been together for a long time, and I think this is uh, a great, this is a great honor to be able to honor freedom. Come on, and and I want to thank us. Uh, uh, I want to thank. I almost wanted to call the senator, but she's now clerk of the circuit court. Iris Martinez, give her a hand. <laughs> and President Pratt Winkle, and and and, and and then of course Chief Judge Tim Evans. I bow to you. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do this song. This is on the kids' uh, album. We were able to produce an album. It's not very we're from St. Sabina Church. I'm Sam Williams. Sam, I am. This is Sayla right over here. All right, it is not very often that a youth choir has an album out, but they do have an album. And the only reason why I decided to have this album was because I wanted to sow into these young people in their education. So every, every dollar that comes out of this album that you purchase on iTunes or Amazon goes to a scholarship for everyone that graduates. So those that are graduating, raise your hand. Those that are graduating, come on. So we're gonna hit this real quick and get out of get out of the way, and we'll come back. All right, here we go. Come on.
right, come on, put your hands together. I want you to put your hands together like this, all right? Come on. I know, I know we got beauty patches out here, but it's right, I want you to look beautiful while you're clapping. You still look beautiful. You still go on there, all right? So how many of you all know that when it rains, we think that we would, if, when the rain comes, we think that it rained on our parade. Sometimes we like, I don't like it when it rains. But how many know that it's important to rain because the water will produce growth? The sun on top of that will make sure you grow even better. So the sun is out today. So I want you to push it. Come on. They're going to sing. Come on. Say rain on me. Rain on me. Shine. Come on. Shine on me. Say Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Fall down. Fall down on me. Come on. Say rain on me. Shine. Shine on me. Say Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Fall down. Fall down on me. Take it up. Say rain on me. Rain on me. Shine. Come on. Shine on me. Say Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Uh huh. Fall down. Fall down on me. Say rain on me. Come on. Rain on me. Uh, shine on me. Shine on me. Say Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Fall down. Come on. Fall down Here we go. On me. Say rain. Say Holy Ghost. Come on, go down. Say rain. Shot. Say Holy Ghost. All right, go down, go down. Here we go, watch this. Say trip, drop, pull it. Pull it. Uh -huh. Come on. All right, come on, go down. How many know when it rains? It rains in different places. The drops fall everywhere. So you want your blessings to come and grab it every way you can get it. Uh huh. Come on, come on. One more time. Say drip, drop, drip, drip, drop, Watch this. I know we got a little something. You, the young people say, lean with it, rock with it. Drip. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. I think some of y'all can do that. You can do that in your seat, right? Uh-huh. 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 All right. You got it? You got it? So right in your seat where you're sitting, where you're standing, all I want you to do is lean it back just a little bit. All right. Here we go. Say, drip. Yeah, you got it. You got it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, All right, here we go. All the citizens say right. Come on, all the men say right. Come on, all the men say right. Come on, let me hear you say right. You want the blessings to right. Uh -huh. Come on, say right. All right, here we go. Say melody, say melody from heaven. Uh, 
Come on, uh, you, all, you can point up because that's where we want to go, right? Woo! Believe in God or not, it's up. Say, hello, D. Say, Oh, yeah, you got it, you got it. You just point up on that one. All right, one more time. Here we go. Come on. Say, 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 melody, say. Melody from heaven. Yeah, you got it, you got it, you got it. Let me see. Where are the, all the seniors now? <laughs> Come on. Say, melody, say. Rain down. Rain down. Come on. Come on. Rain down. Rain down. Rain down. Come on, rain. Rain down. Come on. Rain down. Rain down. Come on. Rain down. Rain down. Rain down. Rain down. Say Holy Ghost. Come on. Come Now, doesn't it? All right, all right. Please help welcome to the stage Cook County Commissioner for the 4th District, Stanley Moore, who is the co leader behind the Juneteenth holiday bill. Congratulations, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Good afternoon. Come on, we can do better than that. Good afternoon. Weren't they incredible? Let's give them another round of applause, please. Let's also give another round of applause to Iris Martinez. She's doing a fabulous job. Give her a round of applause. I'm Cook County Commissioner Stanley Moore of the 4th District, and I want to thank Clerk Iris Martinez for inviting us to come here today to celebrate Juneteenth. It is a official holiday. Let's give that a round of applause. To me, Juneteenth is known as Freedom Day, Jubilee Day, Liberation Day, Emancipation Day. It focuses on acknowledging and honoring our ancestors and the hardships and the obstacles that they had to endure during slavery. Now, I want to tell a real quick story. This morning, my daughter keeps hearing, she's an eighth grader, she keeps hearing all this about creating a holiday, a new holiday. So she comes to me and she says, Daddy, um, did you and the county board create Juneteenth? I said, no, baby. We didn't create Juneteenth. I said, what we did do is honor Juneteenth. We made Juneteenth a holiday in the state of Illinois and Cook County and the city of Chicago. But that's what is important to me. When she said that to me, immediately I thought to myself, we are not educating our children about the importance of things like Juneteenth. We have to do this. This is so important that our children understand that Juneteenth is about tenacity. Juneteenth is about strength and collaboration. Juneteenth is about victory. Juneteenth, and as each and every one of you celebrate this holiday with your friends and your family, make sure that you focus on these traditions and these cultures and that you educate your children we must lead, develop communities, and drive economic development in this country. We must m make everyone recognize the truth of our history. Just recently, the president and I, and I want to let me pr publicly thank Cook County Board President Tony Prentwinkle. Let's give her another round of applause. She is a dynamic leader because when we brought Juneteenth to her, she understood the importance of making it a holiday. She also understood the importance of making it one of the first bodies of government to acknowledge Juneteenth officially as a paid holiday for all 20,000 employees at Cook County. Let's give her a round of applause for that. I also would be remiss if I didn't thank Frank Aguilar, Commissioner Alma Naya, Commissioner Donna Miller, co-sponsor uh, Commissioner Dennis Deer, and all 17 commissioners who voted unanimously to make Juneteenth a holiday. I'm Stanley Moore, and I want to say thank you for allowing us to serve you. Now we're going to welcome to the stage Cook County Commissioner for the 6th District, Donna Miller. Put your hands together for her. 
Good afternoon, everyone. I'm honored to be here with you today, and I want to thank Madam Clerk and President Prettwinkle, Chief Judge Evans, my colleagues, and I do want to give a special shout out to my colleague Stanley Moore and Dennis Deer for being innovative enough to think that Juneteenth could be a, a holiday in Cook County. So thank you for that. And passing unanimously on the Cook County Board is also no small feat, so that means everybody was on board. So thank you for that as well. You know, we have so much rich history throughout this country, and recognizing Juneteenth as a holiday just adds into the fabric of what's so important in American history. I always say for 100 years, over 100 years, my family has lived in Cook County. My great-grandmother was born in 1898 here in Cook County, but her mother was a freed slave who came here from Mississippi. We know that history. It means something to us. And when we think about all the people who escaped slavery, and they escaped slavery, and many of them came right through Cook County on the way to freedom. So today, as we've already heard, the governor announced Juneteenth as a state holiday. That is a big deal. C Clerk Yarbrough and Iris Martinez were there in the very beginning. This is how things work. This is how things get passed. This is how dedication and diligence works. So we also saw yesterday that the U.S. Senate passed Juneteenth for being a federal holiday. We're going to have this across this country. And now we know Juneteenth, as Commissioner Moore mentioned, we have to educate our youth on the history of what that means. Dating back to 1865, when the Union soldiers came on June 19th to tell that there's been two and a half years that the Emancipation Proclamation had been official, become official. So today is a day we celebrate, promote, and cultivate knowledge and the appreciation of African American history and culture. Juneteenth celebrates African American history, freedom, and achievement while encouraging continuous self-development and respect for all cultures. One of us is not as good as all of us. The events of 1865 will not be forgotten. Now, not only with holidays, but we need to continue with education in our school system. So get involved. Support Juneteenth celebrations, and it creates new bonds of friendship new bonds of understanding and education. And so I want to thank everyone and enjoy the activities and celebrations of today and moving forward. Thank you, Commissioner Miller. Now we're going to bring to the stage the Vice President of the Chicago NFL Alumni Association, Michael Blair, who once played for the Green Bay Packers, the Chiefs, the Bengals, the Browns, and the Saints. And also, you were a member of the Jamaican bobsled team? Wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I love that. OK, come on up. I have more to say, but let him talk. <laughs> Thank you very much. How's everybody doing today? Wonderful, wonderful. Put your hands together for all these lovely people behind us, because without them, this would not be possible. And this is what I mean by that. Everybody up here spoke about what June, Juneteenth meant to them. But what does it mean to you? When you go home and you leave today, you enjoy this moment right now, but this is just the honeymoon. This is the marriage. What happens after that? What torch are you going to pick up to make this happen? What torch are you going to pick up to lead by example, to talk about it and pass it forward? The beautiful thing about sports is that all walks of life come together for a common goal, for a common team, and that's to win. At the age of 42, I was asked to be on the Jamaican bobsled team. Why? I have no clue. <laughs> I was overweight, about 50 pounds over. That means I had to lose 50 pounds to get back in the sled. If you don't know what a sled looks like, go sit in the bathtub, and that's what you're in. OK, everybody's seen the movie Cool Runnings. I was not in that movie. 
I, I, I wasn't, I was in high school during that movie, and so I'm cool with runnings. But here's the point. I was asked to be a part of something that was great. Juneteenth to me means something that is great. A different walk of life came to Texas to, to, to tell a different walk of life that freedom has been given. But freedom has always been there through perseverance. It's just another date that's marked that you have to look at to say, yes, I will still stand for that. Yes, I will still persevere. And yes, I will continue to pass forward the message of freedom. We are all all-stars in our life. We are all community. And that's what sports is about. People from all walks of life coming together for one common goal, and that's freedom. Enjoy the rest of the day. All right, nice motivational speech there. Our next honorary guest is the first black woman to win the International Miss Grand International Beauty Pageant. Abina Apia is a model, musician, actress, and entrepreneur from California with roots in Ghana. Growing up, Abina was heavily bullied and teased in school, which led her to want to become a beauty queen. She knew that a pageant would give her the platform she needed to speak out and become a role model. With this motivation, Abina was able to walk in numerous fashion shows around the world, starred in a TV program, and released music. And she was also able to fulfill her dream and win international and national titles such as Queen Beauty Universe, Miss Universe Ghana, Miss America New York, Miss Earth Ghana, and lastly, Miss Grand United States before becoming Miss Grand International. Put your hands together for Abina Apia. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Good afternoon. I want to say thank you so much for the opportunity. I am so honored to be. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I want to say thank you so much for the opportunity. It's an honor to be here. Um, thank you so much. I, I wrote actually on my phone, so. <laughs> I'm going to use my phone. Okay. Um, as you know, my name is Abina Apia, and I am the first African American Miss Grand International. This. Thank you. This is a dream I never thought was possible because growing up, the words I heard was, you are not enough, you are not capable, you are not beautiful enough, and that position is not for you. I fought really hard to try and break boundaries just being myself. I didn't want to change anything about myself. I just wanted to be me. Thank you. I come from a long line of bold and brave ancestors who have, who gave I come from a long line of bold and brave ancestors who never gave hate or negativity the opportunity to define them. They taught me a simple lesson. Treat others the way you want to be treated and love who you are from the inside out. Because of them, I am proud of the color of my skin, the texture of my hair, and most importantly, my contribution to society. I am breaking, I am able to break barriers because of the way they have paved for me. Last year, I was crowned the first Ghanaian American to win Miss Grand United States. I then went on to compete with over 65 countries around the world and went down in history as the first Ghanaian American to win Miss Grand International. Juneteenth signifies how many barriers we have broken and we will continue to break in the future. For years, people of color have fought hard for equality, and it hurts my heart to say that we are still living in a world without that basic human right, a right that ensures we all have the same opportunity to make the best out of our lives. It's about time we teach and show love to all race so there's no more space for discrimination and hate. It takes courage to be first, to be different, to stand in the light instead of darkness. We have watched many people cry out for help before our eyes, fighting, marching, and protesting. This is time to break the silence and raise our voice for change. We must be the change in the world we want to see by simply making a difference and working together. Thank you.
Nice. That was very nice. All right. First of all, thank you all for coming today. We're not done yet. We have, we're going to end the program with some more music by Sam Williams and the Sela St. Sabina Youth Choir. Once again, give them a round of applause. with no feedback, all right? Come on, uh, give yourselves a hand again and for this event. We're gonna move out of the way, but we, I, I really thank you all again. I thank uh, 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 President Brett Winkle and, and, and Martinez, um, Clerk Martinez, and then uh, of course Chief Judge Tim Evans. Thank you all for this opportunity. But again, we thank you all. We just wanna uh, celebrate this time because this is a, I think this is a new day. We've gone through a lot. And now to be able to celebrate again, to celebrate freedom, and to recognize that we are, as together as a people, we can all be free, right? And forgive me if I say amen or whatever. I go to St. Sabina Church because even my own pastor, he's free now too. So, so, huh? All right. <laughs> so, um, I just want to thank you all again. Say a lot right over here. Y'all say it. Hey. All right, so here we go. It's a brighter day. It's bright, it's sun, it's shiny. Come on, let's hit it. Here we go. Change is gonna go. Come on. Your change is gonna go. Are you 
better say that to yourself. Come on, your change is gonna. All right, say our change is gonna come. Come on, your change yet? Your change is gonna. All right, here we go. We gonna show you how to change. Here we go. Your change yet? Your change is gonna. Your change yet? Come on. All right, come on, come on. Say your change yet? Your change is gonna. All right, here we go. Say your change yet? Your change is gonna. Ah, damn. Let me know. Say your change yet? Come on, say, your change, come on, wave your hands in there. Like All right, come on, say, your change, yes, change, yes, change, yes, change, All right, come on, come on, your change, yes, change, All right, come on, surround us with here, come on, your change, yes, Let me hear all the other men in the house say, your change yet? Your change is gonna come. All right, you gotta say it to yourself, your change, come on. Your change is gonna come. Everybody, come on, come on. Wait, who come on? Your change. Your change is gonna come. Oh, yeah, come on, come on, your change yet? Your change is gonna come. Yep, yep, here we go, here we go. Your change. Your change is gonna come. Your change. Your change is gonna come. One, two, three, go. Your 
hands raised up. Come on, put your, come on, wave your hands in the air like it's just too care. Come on. Oh, here we go. Your chain. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Happy June team. Juneteenth, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Yeah. 